Hello everyone, Fred here again with Card Dealer Pro, and in today's video, we're gonna run you through how to export a batch to list your cards for sale on eBay using eBay's CSV file exchange. So to begin, we're gonna navigate over to batches on the left-hand menu to view our batches of cards. For the sake of time, we're gonna assume that you've already uploaded your cards, documented them, and have them priced and ready to sell. Now, if you're not familiar with that process, I highly encourage you to check out our other how-to videos that'll walk you through how to do that. So we click on the batch, and I'm gonna go ahead and drill in on an individual card so that we can look at the eBay settings for each card that we're selling. If I scroll down to the eBay settings, we can see all of the things that we can uh, push over to eBay when we do our export. So to start with, we'll discuss start price. Now start price is gonna be the price that you want to start an auction at, or the price that you want to list your card for sale in a fixed format or buy it now type format. Now this could be a little confusing because buy it now price is right next to that. In this particular case, we're listing this card at a fixed rate of $99.99. Buy it now would not be applicable. When buy it now comes into play is when you are offering a card up for sale in an auction and you wanna give a user the ability to buy the card early and end that auction early. And we'll run through that when we run through some auction examples in just a moment. Now best offer is going to either enable or disable the ability for somebody to offer less than $99.99 for this card. I do wanna accept offers, so I'm gonna leave that as yes. My format is fixed price. I could change that to auction if I wanted. My shipping service is USPS Priority Mail, so you could type in any shipping service that you want to use here. Shipping cost, I'm going to leave it zero. When I enter in zero, this will tell eBay that I offer free shipping, and eBay will advertise this item as free shipping. Duration is going to be a number between 1 and 30 that tells eBay how long you want this card to be listed for sale. Now on fixed items, you can enter in GTC, which means good till canceled, which will leave your item up for sale indefinitely until it sells. If you enter in a number between one and 30, that listing will actually end after that number of days passes. Returns, we can choose if we want to accept or not accept returns. I'm going to choose not to accept returns on this card. The zip code is gonna be the location where you're shipping the card from. And then the shipping, return, and payment profile are optional fields that you can enter in if you use uh, selling profiles with your eBay store. If you aren't familiar with selling profiles, I recommend you check out the eBay How Tutorials from eBay's direct site. Um, very helpful, and I encourage you to use them if you sell a lot. And we have our dispatch time max. And what this number is, is this is telling eBay how long is it going to take us to ship the card after someone purchases it. It is not saying how long it will take for the card to get delivered. So if we leave this in as three, what that would tell eBay is that after somebody buys the card, you have three days to provide the tracking information on that card to ship it out. Now I'm gonna set this as one because eBay actually incents you and gives you lower fees if you maintain a high rating and you ship out quickly. So I'm gonna put that in at one. Now the last setting that was up here in the beginning is store category. Now, Card Dealer Pro will automatically enter in the proper category in eBay for listing sports cards. What this category is for is if you have a custom category built into your eBay site. So if we go to our eBay page, the selling page, and then we go to store and store categories, if you have store categories built in your eBay store, you'll notice this category number over on the right. I'm going to list this in my ungraded singles category. So I'm gonna go ahead, copy this number, and go back to my listing and enter that number in, which we already have. So all of my information is now set and I'm ready to list these cards for sale on eBay. So what we can do is when we're looking at our batch, we can export the batch. When we click export, the default option is eBay CSV. We're gonna leave that as is and click export. You'll notice that we get the green success message up in the right corner, and we've now downloaded the CSV file. If I pivot back over to eBay, what we do to upload these cards is we go to the My eBay link in the upper right, and we go to Selling. From here, oops. From here, we click on the Reports tab and Uploads. Now, it gives us three different steps to follow. 
Select a template and fill in the template. Steps one and two we've actually already completed because we've just downloaded that template from Card Dealer Pro. So you can skip one and two and jump right to three, which is proceed to upload. So we click upload template, choose the file we wanna upload, which is the file we just downloaded, click open, and then we now see down in the bottom left corner that the upload is in progress. Once this is uploaded into the system, we see that it's in process right now, and after this refreshes, the status is now complete. That means that the six cards we were working on are now listed for sale. If I go to my listings, we can see the six cards that we just listed. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to actually select all of these and delete these out and remove them and end them early so that we can run through some more examples with auction format instead of the uh, fixed format that we just did. So I'm gonna go back to Card Dealer Pro and go back to my batches and I have a different auction batch that we already have set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and export these out since they're all ready to go. Um, actually, before I do, we'll jump in and look at this one card. Um, we have this one set price-wise for the auction to start at 99 cents and the buy it now price at 29.99. So with this particular card, this is gonna start off as an auction and if anybody wants to end it early, they can buy it for 29.99 and I've chosen to accept best offers as well. So we'll go back to our batch of cards that we now wanna list in an auction format and click export. Choose eBay CSV as always. We get the download. And now we're gonna go upload that into eBay like we did before. Now, in this particular upload, I've actually omitted some information on purpose in this batch so that eBay will generate an error and we can walk you through how to fix any errors that you might get in your file format. So we now see instead of this saying complete, it says that six have failed. If we go ahead and click on download results, it will download a CSV file that explains to us what happened and why they did not accept the upload that we gave. So if we look at this, we were given a 1009 error message which states that no item location exists and that that field is empty. So a required field with eBay is the zip code field of where you're shipping the card from. If we go back and we look at the information for our cards here, and I scroll over to zip code, we'll notice I forgot to enter in the zip code for this. I'm gonna use the fill column feature to enter in my zip code and hit fill. And I now have a zip code for all six of these cards. I'm gonna go ahead and click the save button to save that information. Now, while we're here and while we're talking about saving time and using things like fill column, Another thing that I'd highly recommend to everybody is if we navigate to the settings tab on the left, we can actually set default eBay settings. So if we scroll down, here's my default eBay settings. So with this, I have my zip code entered in. I'll always have that on all of my eBay listings so I don't have to type that out for everyone. Same with my shipping service, my shipping cost, the format that I like to list in. Um, so this is going to be my defaults. So every time I upload a batch, all of the cards will automatically get all of this information. I can certainly change that information later on when I'm going through the documentation process, but this can save you a lot of time by utilizing the batch defaults. I'm going to go back to the batch that we were working on. Now that I have my zip code entered, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to export that batch again. So we'll export a fresh new CSV file. We will go back to eBay and upload that new file. And now that we have the zip code entered, instead of getting a failure message, we should receive a message that these have completed and are successfully listed for sale. So here's our completion message. If we go up and we look at our store listings, we now have the six listings. We scroll down, we can see they're all in auction format, starting at 99 cents as we had designated. If I go in and I look at this particular one that we set the buy it now option on, we can see that it's an auction starting at 99 cents or someone can end that auction early and buy that card for 29.99. This has been a quick run through on how to upload the CSVs 
uh, in exporting batches from Card Dealer Pro into eBay. Um, we do have a user guide that runs through all of the different required fields on eBay in PDF format within the help section of Card Dealer Pro. Um, our help portal has tons of helpful information. I highly recommend you check that out. It's also very useful when you run into errors on eBay. Um, we have documentation on all of the error codes that eBay could return and how to correct those. Hopefully you find that very helpful. If you need additional assistance though, and you're new to eBay file exchange, don't worry, we're definitely here to help you out. I highly encourage you at any time to click this support button in the lower right hand column to open up a support ticket and we'll gladly jump on a Zoom or a phone call to help walk you through this and troubleshoot any issues you might be having. So thanks for checking out how to export your batches and list your cards for sale on eBay. Hopefully you found this helpful. Make sure to check out all of the rest of our how-to tutorials and if you need anything, contact us through support. Thanks for watching and happy collecting.